So in my previous tutorial, um, we have managed to create a green horizontal line across the frames. So let me show you what we did in the previous tutorial as some sort of recap. So as you can see, we have a green horizontal line that stretch across the frames from one side of the frames to the other side of the frame. And you can adjust the y, this, the y position or the distance between the top to the horizontal line by by changing the numbers as shown in uh, this line which is utility dot horizontal underscore counting and if you want to change the line you just have to change this so in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to add in unique id to our bounding boxes so this means that every every bounding boxes will have their own unique id and this means that every green boxes that appears on the screen have their own unique id and this unique id starts from unique id 1 and how we're going to implement this unique id is via this uh, idea called centroid tracking and this centroid tracker uh, python file or idea or the code itself i have got gotten it from py image search I will be leaving the link in the description below and it actually shows you the step-by-step -step methods so I won't be going through the details of the step-by-step -step or the idea behind the centroid tracking and actually if you want to you can visit the link and it will teach you more about it but I'm going to teach you how you can actually utilize the I mean utilize the code from the centroid tracker python file and this is available in the in his uh, website so you can just copy and paste from there and in order to utilize the python file or using the centroid tracker python file you will use the you add in the following lines so you can set the max distance which is maximum distance between the cent between the bounding boxes of the current frame compared to the bounding boxes in the previous frame so if you set it as 90 I mean this means that any the distance that is that is less than 90 it will be counted as the same item and then you have max disappear and I will talk more about it later and then we will need to add in object equals to object equals to tracker dot update um, rack anyway you have to name the python file as it is so that it will be easier for you to implement later on and so you also implement this for loop this for loop objects dot items and then you have object id bb box b box which stands for bounding boxes so you apply all this in let me show you what you will get once you include this following lines into your code so as you can see, uh, whenever the object the, it detects some objects, the ID will also appear on the top left hand corner of the bounding boxes. If you want, you can actually adjust the position of the where the ID will appear by changing the CV2 dot put text uh, where your unique ID want to be placed at. So if you want, you can change even change the color. So right now we are using green. We can change it other colors that you would like to as you can see now it's actually blue and this is simply by changing the color and this is the this is the thickness as you can see when we change it change this the number itself become much thicker and then if you want to we can also change the font size and let's change it to six as well and as you can see the font size actually increase in size and let's change it back to one you can also change the font type and the place that you want the text to be right now we can have it we are having it at x1 y1 and x1 x y1 is actually referring to the top left hand corner of the bounding boxes and then by subtracting it by minus five we are actually moving it upwards by five so if we do without this minus 5 or we try to maybe minus 20 you see that actually it moves even further up as you can see it's no longer on maybe we, let me increase the thickness as you can see it's no longer on the green uh, bounding boxes it's actually way above the green bounding boxes as i mentioned i will explain also what does max distance actually mean so let's increase it 10 to make it more 
feasible. So as you can see, the ID itself actually stays on the screen for a few more seconds. This is because in the event that the items itself actually returns back to the frames, it will still be reattached to the original ID. And this may be useful if we are trying to track any objects that has moved out of frame and will actually eventually move back into frame after a few seconds or frames or whatsoever. And we can this can definitely be useful for you if you but because our objects that we are trying to detect actually do not even return back to the screen after it actually move out of the screen. So let's set the max disappear to be to be zero. And yeah, so so in this uh tutorial we have created a ID attached to the bounding boxes and so I think this is the end of my tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions actually down in your comment section below. If not, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.